Hello, my name is Lorna. Um, I am from Just Jemima, which is a little craft studio in the middle of Downhill Forest. Um, tonight we're going to be doing some crafts and we are hoping to make some pumpkins. So as you can see, we've got some little simple paper pumpkins that are very simple to do. All you need is basic materials, coloured card, glue, scissors and something the shape of a circle and some string. You may want to make lots of these and hang them up as a garland um, or you may want to just have lots of them and just have them in a windowsill. Uh, we can do that later but let's get started. So we have some orange ones, we have a red one and we have a couple of other ones. So all you need to do is get some card and something round. Okay, so pencil. I'm going to grab a pencil and what we're going to do is start to do your pumpkins. So as you see, I've been busy so far, so I've done loads of circles ready to do our pumpkins. So what we want is to get something round and to start to draw around it so we can get your pumpkin shape. So I just, I'm left-handed Annie here, so we'll just get started. Okay, so we've got one circle and all we need is our scissors and just cut out around it. These are really, really simple to do and you can do several of them really, really quickly. So what we want to do is just cut out around it. Um, I'm just using scissors to cut around this, but a lot of these ones I have used a punch. Punches are really good because you can just punch out loads in a few seconds. Um, there's mine, it's not totally round, but it's okay. What we want to do is just take it and fold it in half. Okay, so there we are, a wee segment of a pumpkin. And what we want to do is maybe make about seven or nine of these and just draw around them and just keep cutting them. So this is where you cut one out and you fold it in half. I have used a punch to do these. So this is a very easy way of making circles. So if I just show you how these work, you can get punches in places like Hobbycraft or the range. Um, and all we do is we just pop it in there and we just go snap like that and out comes our circle. So I have loads of done this size and then I have a mini one. If we want to do a smaller one, I think I have a little one somewhere. There it is. So there's a wee tiny one I've done just using this punch. Again, you just pop the punch in. Sometimes I just do it upside down so I can see that I've got the whole circle and not half of it. So again, there we go. There's our wee circle ready to do our mini pumpkins. Or if you're really fancy, you can have a punch in the shape of a pumpkin. So um, this is a very clever one because it's got a wee stem and it's actually got a leaf shape as well. So it means you can punch it out in different colors. Um, so for example, let me take this. Um, so I'll punch my shape. And again, I just fold this in half. Okay. And there's a wee leaf that it's done. So that's going to be handy later on when we need to do the leaf. And there is a wee stem, but I find stems are tiny, so we're better to use straws to do the stems. So. Right, so that's going to take a wee bit of time to do all the cutting. Um, so here are some I've done earlier. I am going to do some nice red ones. Um, so we get them and we fold them in half. I've done quite a few already. So again, we'll maybe take about seven of those and get some glue. So we'll fold it in half and then we're just going to pop a wee bit of glue on like that. And then we're just going to layer this one on top. Just make it nice and straight. So 
You're almost layering them up like a wee pile of pancakes. Okay, I just fold in half. And do that one. So I'm just gonna do this really, really speedy. Again, this is like a wee snail glue that I love because it's really quick and easy. Um, this glue is fine, or you can use Pritt stick or any other strong glue. Just helps to keep your card together. So, loads of wee layers. And if you just go like this, you'll see that it all comes together like a wee, a wee pumpkin or an apple, whatever you want to do. So, I think I might just add another one to that. So I've got another wee layer. So just one more and we'll see how this looks. Sometimes I think the more you have, the better it looks. So I think I'll just add one more. Never content, always wanted an extra one. So one more and let's just pop that in. Now, there we are. We have our nice pumpkin apple shape. So what we need to do now is we want to give the pumpkin a wee flat bottom so that it sits like that. Okay, so we'll get our scissors and we'll just squish it all flat and then we'll just step here. And if we just fold it out like that, we should have a wee apple, pumpkin, whatever you want to do. And now all we need to do is a wee leaf and a wee stalk. So we are going to choose some straws. So we don't like plastic straws, so we always use paper straws. So I think I've such up earlier. So you can take any straw, any colour you want. Um, don't use plastic straws because we don't like plastic straws because they're not good for the fish or the ocean. And also it's very hard to squish plastic straws flat if you're making pumpkin stems. So you really want to just flatten them like that. And then just cut a wee bit off. I'm going to use purple for this instead of red. So we get a wee stem and we get our strong glue. And just add a wee bit of glue to the back. And then we just it apart a wee bit and in we go. So that's the wee stem done. Now we are almost done. All we need now is a leaf. So let's take, I've cheated, I've actually used this to make a wee leaf but all you need to do to make a leaf is just take your scissors and just cut a wee, a wee leaf shape. Let's go green. Okay, so we have our leaf and we're going to be a bit of glue. Just need glue on the one side this time. And we are just going to, oops, pop it in there. There we go. We have our apple stroke pumpkin, whatever you're making. Um, so all we need to do now is add some string because um, I want to hang this up in the window. So let's get some string. I'm going to go for some orange string, just go very autumn And let's see if we can tie a knot on this. What you can also do is, you don't have to use plain card, you can use pattern card, um, or you can use glitter card. Glitter card sometimes is hard to stick together. Um, shiny card, metallic card, gold, silver, copper are quite nice to use as well. So, there we go. We have one ready to go. So we're just going to pop that next to all the others. What we're going to do next is hang these up in the window so you can see what they're like when they're all lit up. So come on down to Downhill and have some party time with Just Jemima. <laughs> 